and sharing with you all um, some great memories of our farm. Most of our earliest memories go back to the days in Marimula, driving around the old white Ford with only the dog not far behind. Whilst cruising in the old Ford, Pa would usually be wearing one of his Coastal Guard hats or a Lion Club's hat uh, with some terrible sunglasses to match. None of us will forget Pa's old Ford, the one with the patched up rust spots, the CB radio, and he would always have plenty of quickies or Mentos in the uh, console for us kids to steal a few. The one thing I do personally remember was the car radio antenna, the real thick ones, which Pa believed was the most effective way to adjust my attitude right across the backside. <laughs> pa was big on discipline, having a hat on inside, back chatting, resting your elbows on the table, or doing as or not doing as we were told, was nothing clip across the ear couldn't fix. Or in one instance, a hair clipper to the ear. Pa was always reminding me that curly hair was for girls and that I should cut it short. So one day he insisted I had a cut there and then. And in his endeavour to cut to give me the number one all over, and me squirming to avoid it, he clipped the top of my ear. We all still love the old days, heading off with Nan and Odie down the beach. I think the dust has got me too, guys. And we head down there for some wheat picks and coffee, Odie's favourite, of course. And it was all fun and games until poor old Nan had to carry me back up the hill after being stung by a jellyfish. <laughs> pa worked as a Coast Guard, as Daz mentioned. I remember the day he took us into the, uh, the Coast Guard station and showed us around and onto the boat. But one of the great moments up there for me was standing at the back of the caravan. <sighs> Where there was a viewing platform We'd watch the boats go by with the binoculars while Pa explained to me what each of the ships were. <coughs> when they moved back to Melbourne, we can't forget the excitement as little kids heading around the mountain paths to meet the newest police pup. <laughs> Some of which would sleep in the bed with us. <coughs> or playing in the backyard or with the kids next door hanging over the fence. Or the visit, visits um, we made to his, his mate Colin, sorry, or the visits we made to his mate's place, Colin, where we'd, be, we'd hang out the back crushing cans for a dollar or two. <laughs> pa was a creative man when it came to his woodwork, and we would remember him spending hours in there building all sorts of things out of whatever he could find. I think he pressured all of us to join him, and I think I was the only one that really got into it, or, or fell into the pressure, either one. He and I would look through the old woodwork books and find something to build. And I would always look forward to school holidays, spending hours in there with him on different projects. James and I believe Pa was also a self-proclaimed computer technician. Because <laughs> every time we came around, he had some new computer or a couple going at once and some new game for us to play, usually something to do with planes. <laughs> My most recent memories and what will probably stay with us for a long time is how much Pa loved our business, Mining Carter's business, the fit shop. It's so humbling to Kelly and I that he was so proud of what we had accomplished and certainly did his best to be involved. <laughs> the start of our business probably coincided with Pa's new love for Facebook. And we can all certainly remember about that time that occurred. And through Facebook, Pa soon became a part of many of our members. There wasn't a week where I'd walk into the gym and someone wasn't talking about Ken and something funny he would say or his evening jokes. We'd even have new members sign up and before Carly and I could meet them, Pa sent them a friend request and he started liking and commenting on their photos. <laughs> it was also common for Pa to donate $50 here and there to our members for various fundraising events and he didn't even know them, which shows his huge heart and generosity. And even with these sometimes inappropriate comments, the members have accepted Pa as their own, and I know many of them feel like they have lost a family member too, which is proven by the fact that some of them are here today with us. And I'm sure Pa is going to miss talking to his ladies on Facebook. <laughs> From the moment I gave it to him until he took his last breath, Pa never took off his fit shop wristband, which read, Remember your wife, which I will cherish forever. 
Hard been fighting hard to appear at our wedding in a couple of weeks. And although it would be very sad not to have you there or at any other city events in our future, we are so grateful for the memories and great moments we have shared with him up until now, which we will certainly hold on to. And we know he'll be there in spirit. Thanks everyone.